in step five, let's see what that looks like. Step five, step five, I just created a function to initialize the grid rather than just having every single grid tile be blank. Now it, when it gets created, there's a 30% chance that it'll get the value two. So if I refresh this page a few times, you'll notice it's not always two tiles. It's just randomly. Sometimes there's three, uh, sometimes there's four. Wow, that time there was a lot. Um, but it should be about one third of the tiles here will have the number two on them. And it doesn't matter which one, because it's just randomly inside of the list, each blank tile has the chance to get the two on it. And the whole point of at randomly giving some of them the value two was to test out this other code I added down here, where we said, hmm, check the value of the model, check the value of the grid, and if it happens to be blank, then it's going to, of course, just be that blank tile color with no number. But if it has the value 2, or if basically if it has any other value besides blank, um, it's going to give it a black background, and it's going to make the font color be white. Um, it also gives that number value if it's a number to the to the element itself. Okay. Step six. Step six was just to add an on key down event. So as you can see right here, we added this code. And it's just going to check if I press the up arrow, the down arrow, the left arrow, or the right arrow. And if I do, for example, if I press the up arrow, that's the only one that's going to do something, but it'll, it'll alert me by saying press up, just like that. Looks like that's the only change here. Step seven. Step seven, we changed it so that instead of just alerting us that we pressed up, it calls a function we created called add tile. So the point of the 2048 game is to try to collapse tiles onto one another, and they double when they're the same number and they collapse onto each other. And eventually, they double high enough, they get up to the number 2048, 2048. But in order to make it hard, each time you collapse a tile, another one appears. And if you run out of space, that's when the game is over, you lose. So the add tile function is going to pick a random spot uh, that doesn't have a tile already, and it's just going to insert a tile there. So that's what this code right here does. We pick a random row and a random column somewhere on this grid, and then we just check. As long as the value at that spot isn't empty, we got to get a new one. So it grabs a new random row and a new random column. Eventually, it finds a blank one, and this loop ends, and that's where it sets the value of the grid to be either a 2 or a 4. And this is the actual code that the 2048 game uses, or at least it's the same gaming logic. There's a 10% chance of it being a 4, and a 90% chance of it being a 2. So this is kind of a fun operation here. This is called a ternary operation. Basically it says it's an if statement. I'm using an if statement to set a value. I'm saying, hey, you new tile I just created, you're going to have the value of, get ready for it, either a 2 or a 4 depending on this condition. The condition being grab a random number, if it happens to be higher than 0.1, of course that should happen 90% of the time, then make yourself a 2. Otherwise, make yourself a 4. So you use a question mark and a colon to separate the two outcomes of this condition in order to determine what the actual value is that's going to be assigned to that spot in the grid. That's what we call a ternary operation. And if you'd rather just do an if statement and an else statement, that works too. I just like using that whenever I can. It's kind of fun. Uh, 